Hey guys, it's Moto Mike again. So today I have quad lock uh, holder with the wireless charger. I'm gonna put them together. So as I ride, I can use the charger and I can use my sat nav or something if I'm lost or whatever, and my phone will be charged. So I'm gonna show you how that's done, okay? You got a holder, which is quite a nice, super nice, very simple to install but I'll take you through it anyway. And uh, here, it's a quad lock wireless charger. It, it's got like a little head and the USB cable goes on the bottom. I have USB connector which goes all onto my battery so it's not gonna be, you know, in and out all the time. It's just gonna be connected all the time. And the good thing on this is that you have small button right down here and it's power so if you finish your ride you don't want you know if you don't want to risk that your battery is going to go dead or whatever press the button and it will turn the whole thing off and the battery will stay fully charged so guys this goes on a battery it's super easy positive negative there is a fuse inside just in case you're not going to break anything those two parts connect together it's a male and female bang that's it and then you have a usb port right there you got two actually so i'm going to tuck it under it's going to go right under those panels there so it's hidden and then it will come out here where I'm going to plug the USB for my wireless charger and there's little space underneath of the tank which I figured would be the best because it's easy access and I can actually put anything into it and there's never going to be any water coming in so all I do is tuck the cable under the tank and then take it all the way to the back right there and I will just plug it straight onto the battery okay guys so here it is one bulb was here, one is still there. So, just put the cables where they, they need to go. Now, what I always do, I always say that, just check it before you keep going, before you take anything. So this is what you need to do, guys. You need to take this apart. Uh, you have a couple of, like a rubber, pushes or whatever they are thick one slimmer one and there's one already one inside and uh, i kind of use the one inside already because it's it feels rubbery so once you take it apart it's gonna hold on your bike really nice it's not gonna destroy it it's not gonna scratch your, your handlebars or anything and it's very nice so this part is the best to take this off now you have access to the bottom you open this and then you install it on a bike wherever you want it now i figured on this bike it would be the best up here so my mount my phone will be right there next to my screen as i'm riding i can see it nicely what i need to do is just pull it apart put the rubber around it and all you do is just clip it together there you go and this part up here, you have to put it together. It comes separate in a box. All you do is put it together and it goes into the phone mount. And that's about it. Okay, so once you have the first part in, uh, the best thing is try to figure out the position for that phone. It is quite hard to find the best place, but you know, a little bit of playing and you will find your perfect spot which I think for me it's just about here there's that light blue and on the bottom like I said the button power off press it powers on okay guys so for your phone this is a quad lock for iPhone 11 Pro uh, they make them for every phone so whatever phone you have 
get it is kind of like nice rubbery feeling and it's got that lock at the back so all you gotta do when you want to put it to your bike which is connected already all you do is find that you have to find that spot and then press on and twist once you learn how to do it, it makes it easier so once you get that grip and you, you remember where those entry points are so you just push and twist take off push and out super easy push and in push and out so that's the charger please subscribe guys i got ton of stuff coming in i'm gonna put everything on i'm gonna make a video of everything and the bike is getting better and better uh, i have a big trip coming uh, already have 670 miles so i'm gonna be doing oil and filter uh, that will be next week so if you subscribe hit the buttons please so you don't miss it thanks for watching